Okay, so it all starts in the main breaker box in my house. This house used to have these electrical additional heaters. You can see here, then heater 220 volts. We know that we can put 50 amps on that. So I got a real residential electrician to do all this wiring because it's probably the right thing to do. So I got a 50 amp breaker right here. So now we have power going through that breaker. I just turned it on. It's going underneath here. It's going out there. It's coming out into this 50 amp. I, I'm just gonna call this a 50 amp RV plug-in. By the way, underneath this video in, in the uh, description is links to everything that I bought on Amazon. So then you have a 50 amp RV extension cord. I'm gonna buy those little ramps. And then that goes underneath the bus over to the driver's side. And then that gets connected to a 50 amp power inlet. This is like a waterproof twist on thing. So this isn't coming off. They make a right angle cable. I think that would be better because this is kind of uncool. I'll throw one of those in the description as well. So you know what I'm talking about. So the power goes from the power inlet through a 50 amp RV extension cord and into my 50 amp main breaker, which is that box right there. From there, it goes through a hole in the floor and into my electrical cabinet. That same 50 amp RV extension cable gets wired into my main breaker box. This breaker box is kind of more like a sub panel. This is something that you would put into an apartment. You could get a whole larger load center. This suits our needs perfectly. We have power running to our... So we got our two hotlines, we've got our neutral. From there, power is going to our breakers. So here's a breaker, flip the switch. Now we got power, the light is on. This is like freaking magic to me, guys. This is amazing. You know, all that is going through, in this cage, 14 gauge stranded marine electrical cable, which is running through the walls behind here and then out into this outlet right here. So I'm going to wire all the rest of my AC outlets, appliances into this breaker box. It's going to be filled with breakers. We're going to use all eight slots. You can double up slots so this panel can actually have 16 circuits. And you know, real, real quick, I'll just tell you exactly what's going to be AC power. In here, we have electronics charging area. Induction cooktop, that takes 120 volt AC. Probably going to put a couple of outlets in here as well for other things that I might want to charge. Uh, a line that's gonna go to the AC refrigerator. We also have a DC line in there in case we choose to put a DC refrigerator in there someday, which at the moment we're not gonna do because they're just too expensive. 120 volt AC power coming to my closet here where our point of use electric water heater is going to go. We also have AC power right here for like television and we also have AC power back there in case we ever need it. I think that covers it all. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm wiring these outlets. First of all, I use about this much cable and then I cut off the sheathing so that I've got my bare wires. And I give each of them a little twist to help them stay together during the next part. And then I take heat shrink wire connector kit. One of these on the ground, one of these each on the hot and the neutral. And then I crimp them. Then I use a heat gun, heat them up. Now you can see these are on here, heat shrinked out. And I've got a 15 amp outlet, ground. The way I remember this next part is black to brass. And now that's done. And you can see that I did a little bit of wire management. Sweet. All right, so next up I have the induction cooktop. The induction cooktop wants a 20 amp outlet, which means I need a 12 gauge wire. Good news, this is 12 gauge, because I planned ahead. And then I need a 20 amp breaker in that box. Oh yeah, the cooktop gets plugged into an outlet. So I'm gonna be mounting an outlet right here and putting this wire in there. Hey guys, pouring rain. I'm just finishing up my AC wiring. Give you a little glimpse. So there's my panel, here's my AC wires, top and bottom. And I'm just doing a little bit of wire management right now. Got a couple loose ends to clean up and this will be done. Rova, welcome back. All right, check this out, baby. Holy cow, that's really cool. Right? You did all this? Yep. 
course you did, but wow. The wire management. So organized. And you just know what everything does? Yes, but it's in my head, so I'll forget soon. So, so I have to draw it down. So there's my AC load center all done. Um, a couple thoughts about this. I'm not going to show you guys how to wire an AC box because this is my first time doing it. I didn't do as great a job as I would have liked to. Managing the wires in this smaller box was pretty tough, but I watched a couple great videos for wiring AC panels when I was uh, preparing for this. So I'm going to link those in the description below. Go check those out instead. Now this one, I'm really happy with, with this. Really like that these are all exposed because these are essentially my switches. I'm going to be using these like as light switches and not, not light switches, but you know, when I want to conserve energy, like I'm going to turn off the induction cooktop and make sure that nobody touches it. You know, same goes for a bunch of other stuff. So I think that's great. Uh, they all they do make a slightly bigger box that's like this one and they also make regular household ones that are taller and have the side by side breakers you can do a better job of managing your wires in a taller box if that's important to you so that's it that's the ac oh i do actually have one more line to run which is going to go like along here i haven't done that yet i don't know quite how my dc stuff is going to be interacting with the ac stuff here i'm making progress guys i'm really happy happy to be converting a school bus into a tiny house and getting it done eh, what's up nate when i started all of this i was like most people it looked like a rat's nest of confusing stuff but actually it's very simple and once you start what you doing nummies can you uh fix nate when we're doing electrical work nate's basically just a babysitter um but i did teach him lots of things uh what i was saying was that once you really get into it and you research it you start to apply what you learn the job it becomes common sense like all of this about halfway through makes complete sense to me it's really easy it's just you're connecting electricity in a circuit and at some places you're breaking it intentionally so, so you guys can do it just believe in yourselves and get to work nomies do you think they should hit the like button yeah do you think they should sub to our channel I is totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>